And he spoke for almost an hour and a half, and the crowd ate it up. Uh, the president not giving up the fight. We have a lot to get to tonight. Analysis coming. You do not want to touch that dial. And now, resisting ruin. That's the focus of tonight's angle. Now, tonight the focus returns to where it needs to be, an all-out effort to prevent the far-left radicals that comprise today's Democrat Party from destroying the country we love. Now, as the president just made clear tonight, it is all on the line in Georgia. Re-election of Republican Senators Perdue and Leffler, it's absolutely critical. These really could be the most important Senate elections in recent memory, at least my lifetime. A 50-50 tie in the Senate will ensure an all-out assault on our freedoms, our economy, and our Constitution, including our Second Amendment and our religious liberty in the First Amendment. Now, Warnock and Ossoff will be the Senate version, when you really think about it, of the squad, total nightmares. And while Republicans, they've been engaging at times in a, kind of a pointless circular firing squad routine, Democrats, they were busy registering new voters and ramping up interest in the runoffs. In normal times, Republicans usually fare better in runoffs, but these are not normal times. This is why mega, mega turnout is imperative tomorrow. Now, will the RNC deliver at the polls? We're going to find out just how good their organization is. But I will tell you this. This is no time to sit on the sidelines or to stay home and complain and moan about how unfair everything is or how lame Republican state officials are. Set it all aside and keep your eye on resisting the rise of the rabid socialists who will run you over while they'll enrich Wall Street and China. So my conclusion, everyone needs to get out and vote. Not just you go out and vote. You need to get like 10 other people to go to the polls with you tomorrow. Vote like your life depends on it, because it does.